So I'm gonna show you how to save time when you're preparing shipments in WorldShip and this is by reducing the number of very redundant clicks when someone is preparing a shipment. So this is helpful for companies that are shipping over 10 or 20 packages per day. So here I'm going to fast forward a typical scenario where someone is creating a shipment going into the states that requires you know service selection package level information description of goods billing options so I'm doing it very quick here but now I'm gonna show you highlighted some of the fields that you can potentially default in WorldShip so some of them are here but feel free to do your own selection <coughs> of fields and for that you'll need to use two features in WorldShip one is called the profile editor and the other one is the shipper editor and both of them are found in their tools then you go to create profile and there you just start selecting the different fields that you want to default and that they're going to be saved as a specific profile so here I selected the residential indicator, the ship to country, a service level, a general description of goods, and also I'm going to select here the uh, billing option. And under the customs documentation, I'm going to select the currency so that it's always US dollars. And that is company specific, so maybe your company might be different. Um, shipping something that it's pre manufactured in China and it's always manufactured in China so that's something that I can default here you just have to put a name to the profile save it and then I'll just have to close the profile editor So that is one part and as you can see here now I can toggle from the defaulted UPS profile to the one that I just created and it will display all the defaulted values that I put in it. So that is one part. Now the second section <clears throat> is to lock down this profile to my specific UPS account number and to do that I have to go to the shipper editor which is also under tools. I click on modify then I go to the preference tab and under profile there's a drop down menu so this is a quick recap on how to find the profile and shipper editor so you haven't I haven't bored you to death so far this is some bonus material on how to create you know customized package types and this will save you time if your company has standard boxes for shipping so here you go tools and then more tools and then the custom package editor and there you just have to type the name of the package identify the length width and height of all the packages that you want to create there you just keep on adding them and click on add so this is very convenient for companies as I said that have standard boxing and that way you don't have to be entering these values the you know length width and height for every single shipment once you do that under the package type they're going to show there as you can see and uh, that's only when you're shipping uh, under standard service if you ship express services you'll see the UPS defaulted uh, packages so I hope this helps that's pretty much it thank you very much